That's three meters of pure big D. The biggest dose pipe you've ever seen. The big D. Three inch tubular perfection. Hi guys, my name is Jason. Welcome to the Keeper channel and today we'll be teaching you how to make the world's ultimate best dose in the history of doses, aka flutter, aka turbo surge, or whatever you want to call it, a Bob's worst enemy. And here we're going to go through absolutely every part it takes, how to achieve the dose, all the different dose pipes and science to get this <laughs> and here's our collection. Ooh, ooh, that's a collection. <laughs> so, our assortment, what we've got, we've got a selection of the finest alloys, aluminium, stainless steels. We've even got some titanium. Ooh, that's what. Got some copper, copper dose pot. Got some carbon fiber, because it's not real carbon fiber, <laughs> don't know what it is, plastic. We even got a saxophone. <laughs> We've got a truck's tail shaft. I think that's what it was. Five mil solid mole steel. I think this one will surprise you. So make sure you watch the whole video. And then to finish off, we've got the didgeridoo pipe. <laughs> but that's not all. <laughs> we've also got the big D. The big dose fight. The five meter long. Two and a half. <laughs> Two and a half inch mile steel. <laughs> Enjoy the video. <laughs> so before we get into it, I'd like to show you something spicy. So, we got rid of the JDM boys, and we've gone full draggy boy, because we're preparing for our next video with the VL and the barrel wagon before it goes off to NZ. It's last time getting thrashed, hopefully they don't break anything. They're racing each other. VL versus wagon down at Heathcote. We've got a day booked up there and we're gonna see which one's faster. So I got some welds, some Kang welds, front runners in the Magnums, I think they're called, and the Al Alumast Master something. Alumastar, that's the one and some Mickey T's ready to go. 15s, 17s, apparently a thing. I'm a bit of a fan, not a huge fan. Pretty much the new age Simmons right now. It does suit the car. The JDM looks gone, and that's what we've got, and it's spicy. All right, back to the dose. So, the engine, just so you all know, this is the ultimate base to make dose happen. A VL Turbo, VL Calais Turbo, RB30 engine, straight six, Three cylinder, the perfect amount of back pressure. What did I say? <laughs> did I say three cylinder? Straight six, three cylinder. Straight six, <laughs> straight six, three liter, three cylinder, with the ultimate back pressure. The standard turbos on these are amazing. They come with a T3, the standard turbo, you convert them, blah, blah, blah. Mine has a, the forged motor making 450 kilowatt with the GTX. 420, calm down. Nah, it's 450. Is it? Yeah, I'm claiming it. <laughs> 26 PSI through the Garrett GDX 3582 108 rear. So the first thing you'll need to know to achieve the dose, the piping length, you need an intercooler. You don't need it, but it helps. So longer piping, an intercooler, that helps with the length of the dose. Now running 26 PSI, it's ended up turning into a high pitch dose. That's another thing to worry about. The lower boost, the obviously quieter will be, so you'll need a smaller diameter to get a higher, lower pitch, louder, blah, blah, blah. I can show you, I've got two settings of boost. I've got a 14 PSI setting and I got the 26. I'll run you through a demonstration of um, a few different things, just so you know where you'll be at when you go to put a dose part on your mum's Lancer. So turbo size, is going to matter as well for even making the sound. On your mum's Lancer, if she's only got little P, P turbs, it's, uh, chances are it's probably not gonna be spinning very fast and it mightn't have that compression uh, surge and flutter sound. Plus the other very important fact is blow off valves. This came with one originally and I instantly deleted it. So you can block the lines to it so it doesn't open or you can blocking plate them off on some of the skylines and stuff you can get a little 
little plate and uh, block that ass off or just co yeah, completely delete it out of the piping. So that's what I've done here and obviously if you've got a blow off valve or any of your, your factory sort of things, that is going to ruin your dose. Like I said before, the intercooler with no intercooler, you are going to get a really fast dose. So it won't, won't be long, won't be like shoot, it'll be more like the final thing you got to worry about is what you've got in front of the turbo, which is of course a selection of pipes we've got there. That'll change the sound a lot, but if you've got all this factory stuff like airflow meters, air boxes, any plastic, rubbers, all that sort of stuff, that muffles the dose. I reckon we start with showing you what it does on, I reckon we'll go low boost. So you've heard the high boost, we'll go a low boost dose, and then we'll rip this off and we'll go uh, no dose pipe so you can see what she sounds like with nothing in front. And then we will start this assortment. So we'll try and get through it pretty quick. We'll just go alloy versus stainless to start off. And then we've got some random things here too that we'll throw in the mix later, I reckon. Because some might work, some might not. I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> Could be amazing. Oh, yeah. So yeah, don't know. I don't even know what that is. We'll just get through it and we'll get Jesse's ratings in between of what he thinks. Finish off on the big. <laughs> so there's your low and your high boost. I figured I'd go back to a high boost and it's a bit spicy as you can tell with the powers. <laughs> it wants to keep stepping out. Uh, all right, let's rip that dose pipe off. All right, now we've ripped the dose pipe off. We've just decided after that first test that we're just gonna run these tests on the 14 PSI low boost because she's getting a bit hairy and I'm gonna end up smacking into the wall every time I spin the wheel. Let's show you what it sounds like with no dose pipe. That's <laughs> It's gross. <laughs> Don't do that. It's kind of surprising how much a little so, pipe does. You really go nuts. Put your finger in it, Corey. Where's the carrot? Where's the kebab? Where's kebab? Back to it. Back to it. You get to work. <laughs> All right, let's get into our um, test subject. Uh, I reckon we just go with the uh, three inch straight. This is the um, the VL Muzz special. And then we'll go into, that's long, a three inch stainless. We're gonna be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, starting off. The three inch straight alloy. I've also got Jesse here ready to go. Oh. <laughs> ah. uh, maybe we should use the hose pants that were supplied for the test. <laughs> That's better. A little baby dose. <laughs> right over. <laughs> it's getting closer. Three inch stainless long boy. <laughs> so already we're getting to see that a bit longer, a bit thicker steel seems to give you a longer lasting dose. Sort of want to try the high boost one of this one. This is a freak high pitch. <laughs> that was really high pitch. <laughs> That's better. So, so high pitch. I feel like we need the high boost. You can't not. Have we ruined the test already? <laughs> Three inch stainless 90 degree bend. 
What does the judge reckon is going to be the best? Jason's been talking up this. So I'm really looking forward to hearing that. <laughs> the smaller pipes are so hectic. What about the small big D? Ooh, the Ooh. big D. That's spicy. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh. Never heard a car dose this loud. <laughs> I knew 90 degree bends for some reason. It's like the dose just like bounces around in circles. Science! <laughs> and for some reason it amplifies the shit out of it. That's preparation. Still a four. <laughs> there, it's just kind. <laughs> I've only got a one to five scale, so. Oh, I thought you were going to ten. Oh! <laughs> I thought you were going to ten. Oh, well, I was going to be here all day, right? <laughs> so far, we've only done about three dose pipes, and we've moved about 500 mil into the factory because we keep pushing things forward on these front runners. So uh, we'll get there. Three inch, 90 degree aluminium with a little thickest added on for no reason. <laughs> He's upgraded. <laughs> the scale's changed. <laughs> it's moving so much. <laughs> what does he reckon? A three. It was a bit, bit tinny. Yeah, I think I prefer the other one. A bit too much tin. Didn't have the throatiness. The throaty. So cool, cool, cool. I'm seeing if we've got a couple more three-inch variations. Should we just go straight to the titanium goodness? Yeah. For your T3 turbo on your stock Skyline running 7 to 10 PSI, the two and a half inch straight variation seems to be quite a winner. That's when you got the real small turbs and you're trying to make it sound like a big turbs. Three-inch titanium. <laughs> that's loud. That's very loud. That's kind. Oh, you got that go high. <laughs> so that only the premium ones are going to go higher. Ooh. It exists. <laughs> I should also mention, I don't know how much it changes it, but it definitely changes it with the length of your pipe as well. So if you are doing this and you've chosen your size and diameter, the next thing is play with how long. Start with a bit longer. It seems to be the shorter you make it, the louder and higher pitch it makes it in no matter what diameter you got. So let's see what the three inch copper does. <laughs> like I said, nice and short, freak high pitch and real loud, so not bad. That had some note. <laughs> oh, that's heavy. I've tested something like this before on my old 31 JZ Wagoon, and it was the loudest and also longest lasting dose I've ever heard. So, got high hopes. Hopefully, it's not too long. Let's end it. That was interesting. Something different. <laughs> like I said, I think it might be a little bit long, but it lasts really long. Also shot out a lot of uh, old rust because my old steel been sitting around for a while. Keep your up. Ooh, that's up there. Ooh. That was kind. All right, so we're going to speed this up a bit. Move up to the three and a half inch alloy with a little 45, I'm going to call it. We've got a bit of a ghetto clamping system going on here, which might ruin the dose a bit. I blame Jassy, Scott. That was low boost. <laughs> Everything's just loud. Three and a half inch stainless 90 degree bend.
That was louder. Yeah. That was much better. That was good. It's got <laughs> that long follow on. A bit deeper. You can tell that one deeper. Let's keep going. All right, so that's three and a half inch. Now we're going to move to the four inch, but we're going to scrap all the straight because we know the straight is shat. Doesn't do the job. So we've got a stainless four inch 90, titanium four inch 90, a bit shorter. The four inch straight copper. You can do the straight copper because it's worthy. The Farben four inch 90 degree fake carbon plastic shaft and then we've got the weird concoction <laughs> the double ended don't care <laughs> <laughs> let's do it It was such a clean dose. Yeah. It's less, so much less tinny. That's what I'm talking about. A refined, deep dose. It's like a fine wine. <laughs> <laughs> Four inch titanium, nine degree bend, short edition. What was that? <laughs> Just like a enhanced no dose pipe. I, don't I, like I it. think it was worse. Yeah. Too short. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Ooh. 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 Copper. This is valuable research. Yeah. We're scientists. <laughs> Doing science. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Just popped into reverse with holding it. <laughs> Not bad, that's like a enhanced no dose pipe, sort of making like a, a really long no flutter sound. It wasn't horrible. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give it a I forget what it sounds like now. <laughs> True <laughs> I have no idea what it's gonna do. It might blow up. We'll see. <laughs> Four inch, 90 degree farben, fake carbon. No dose. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's make sure the auto is still in there. It's gonna blow up soon. Oh, I'm excited. The double ended don't care. Yeah, to make a weird spool. Yeah. No dose, but the spool was weird. It gets a one. Yeah, that's fair. For the spool. That's fair. For the spool. Some I've had lying around for a while. Me mum's saxophone. I cut it up. She wasn't very happy about it. But I don't care. It was all for science. So let's see how the saxophone goes. The saxophone. Don't know what the the metal is. Tin or something, don't act the phone. I think the That's Timmy Trumpet right there with you. Was that Timmy Trumpet? <laughs> <laughs> Shout no. It's been a few ones recently. Alright, now for the ones you've been waiting for the didgeridoo spot. <laughs> Subscribe. Ooh. <laughs> Damn boy! <laughs> She's sick! Looks like you're going jousting with your BL. <laughs> the didgeridoo pipe. <laughs> Three inch stainless steel. 1.5 meters long. <laughs> <laughs> That's pointing right at me. <laughs> Anti climax! <laughs> that was air. Oh, 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 that's got suction. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's sitting on something that it 
get rid of the vibration. Maybe. Oh, I got low boost. Oh, you got low boost? Yeah, that was low boost. Yeah. What? What? No, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 The moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, 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 the big D. <laughs> all right, you good up there? Presume, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Coming in. Oh, maybe spit on it. It's a bit tight. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's three meters of pure big D. The biggest dose pipe you've ever seen. World's biggest dose pipe. In his book of records. <laughs> <laughs> the big D. Three meters of mild steel, three inch tubular perfection. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it, you've seen every single possible dose pipe that you could ever imagine. But my favorite would have to be the one I run, the nice, deep, spicy dose with a little bit of a long pitch, you know, a little bit of a hold flutter first, and then a descent into choo-choo noises in the four inch, 90 degree. I actually, I ran the, I used to run the alloy, but I reckon that stainless, was louder. So I reckon I'm gonna upgrade to the stainless. So even I've learned something today. So I hope you learned something today and you can add this to your daily life no matter what that may be. 
your mum's Lancer, something like that. I was actually a little bit scared there with those big dose pops. Um, we popped off some cooler piping because I'm pretty sure that adds extreme pressures into the whole system. It's like blowing through a really long straw. Try it, you'll find out. Science. <laughs> anyway, we hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like it. Bang a comment what you want to see next. And subscribe if you want to subscribe to all our chat content and if you want to see more. We'll see you next time. Feel like John Moran, hey. need a triple double. Yeah. Told him check the stats. Hey. Yeah, I got a couple. I don't try to ball. Yeah. Nine.